new survey out tonight points to fear that college teachers are politically biased. Yeah, we've been hearing that for a long time now. Take a look at the result of an online survey by Zogby Interactive. 58% say they believe that bias among college professors is a serious problem. 37% say it's not so serious. So exactly who's worried about this? It is a clear split among liberals and conservatives. 91% of people who call themselves very conservative say it is a serious problem compared to just 3% of liberals. The poll was done online, so its results may not be dead on, but the numbers are still pretty striking. So let's check this out with our panel tonight. David Horowitz, who's trying to get state lawmakers to pass laws protecting conservative students from reprisals by liberal teachers. He also happens to be the author of Indoctrination, uh, The Left's War Against Academic Freedom. And back with me now, Ibrahim Hooper and Laura Flanders. Laura, who is also an author. So. Are you troubled by this? And oh, what are the consequences is, of having too many liberal professors? This is so ridiculous. I mean, these right-wingers like David are really a trip. They're, they have locked progressives out of most of the media, talk radio, and a whole lot of Congress. The one part of our country where they do actually, people actually encourage open debate and research and respect for the facts. Progressive views rise. As a progressive, I'm not surprised by that. And these right-wingers who are normally talking about meritocracy and good things rising to the top instead want, well, they finally found a, for, a form of affirmative action they want, they like. They want the government and, to act. And David? The, the, well, I'm not seeking laws to uh, impose uh, conservatism on universities. I've never complained about professors being too liberal. I defended Ward Churchill uh, uh, for embarrassing himself on the Internet. Uh, with his extremist views. Uh, the issue is very simply uh, leftists, and they're not liberals. If, they, if, if these professors were liberal, uh, they would have no problem with presenting uh, two sides to controversial issues, uh, and they would not have instituted a blacklist against uh, conservatives. Conservatives are as rare as unicorns on university uh, liberal arts campuses. David Unfort is the king of blacklists. No. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, uh, I want to know why Mitch, I'm not on your you know, last Laura, one. You, look, I, you know, <laughs> I, I never I, met a leftist who wasn't a witch hunter, and no. you're a witch hunter. You, I want to know why I'm not on your most I, recent list. Oh, after I'm tonight, offended. after tonight, you've earned your place, a spot at the top of the list. Unfortunately, Mr. Do you think this is such I mean, a big uh, deal? Why, why no, the, the, the problem with to the name problem quality. with Mr. Horowitz's analysis and uh, attacks on professors that the vast majority of the time he attacks them for activities outside the classroom. He doesn't attack them for bias in the classroom. He attacks their political views outside that the is, classroom. That is uh, totally false. It's a talking point of the teacher unions. I have written a book called The Professors. Well, people might want to check out a website, mediamatters.org. You know, the they the do an analysis is, of look, it. The show is so stacked. The presentation is false to what I stand for. And I got two leftists attacking me let me finish a sentence uh, when I have uh, my my book well, that's the, the first time I've been called a leftist <laughs> but go ahead <laughs> all right David let me let me enough I want I the mean, three of you to address this David David, take a, David hang on take a look at this opinion piece in the Boston Globe where it is a response to some of these recent studies that found that US colleges are too liberal quote some academic liberals earnestly explain that conservatives are scarce in the universities because well they're just not good enough another variation on this theme is that liberals are better suited to academic life because unlike those closed-minded intolerant conservatives they are open-minded and willing to allow the the free expression of ideas they find disagreeable. Well, Paula, why don't you do, uh, you know, an investigative report and see if that's the case. Uh, I, I, I'm engaged now at the Penn State University. I mean, just as an example, an English uh, teacher shows the Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth in class, no presentation of a critical view. Uh, the same class has two texts on poverty, both of them by leftists. Uh, the, so, uh, the so only Mr. Horowitz must be in know, favor uh, of, the, know, this of the fairness doctrine to uh, bring uh, non-conservative yeah. viewpoints to uh, to radio. Uh, talk uh, radio. Right, Laura, where, where, where are the six states of legislation to uh, combat bias in radio? I, I'm with Ibrahim. I want to see <laughs> it from David. I look right. forward to it tomorrow. Got to stop yeah. it there, David Horowitz, Ibrahim Thanks. Hooper, Laura Flanders. Thank, thank, you. thank you all.